Hi guys, full disclosure, this entire video is an ad for this bore scope. This company sent me it to test out and I told them if I liked it, I'd advertise it for them. I just barely pulled it out of the box and I haven't screwed with it much, so I figured I'd just run through it with you guys. So the wheel over here articulates this, so if you need to get into a pocket, I'll show you later on this cylinder head. You just spin that and the camera moves full 360 degrees, that's pretty neat. And you can adjust the intensity of the light or turn it all the way off. One really cool thing about this too is it's got a side camera option too. So if you're down, you know, you know, like this is this would be really cool for a weld for welding inspection. Run up a tube, and then you can just run the camera. You can run the camera this way with this side view button. And it has zoom too. And it charges with a USB C port. And I got to give a shout out to Nick. He sent me this cylinder head that I'm going to be making a video on and try to repair it the best I can. He glass beaded it down. So I'm going to show you what welding looks like on glass beaded stuff versus non. Check this out. We can look up in that little cavity right there. Look around, see what's going on. Or we can go down in the spark plug hole and articulate it with this wheel backwards. Check this out. So now we're all the way down in the combustion chamber looking back at the valve seats. How cool is that? It's hard to pick it up on camera. This is pretty high resolution. I'm impressed with it. I think this thing only costs like 130 bucks. I'll leave a link below for Amazon. You can see we're down in the plug hole. Imagine if this was on a motor, you know, you were down in there. And you can look up. We're looking up through that window right there coming out where my finger's at. Then you just got to spin the wheel back so it's straight to get it back out of the spark plug hole pretty cool tool we can turn the light on quality control check this part see how lazy the fabricator was and didn't see if he divert his backside of his fittings or not that one's a little questionable if you took the time and wiggled this around enough you get you probably get all the way down and check out valves you know if you had like if you compression tested a motor and you were having a problem with one cylinder, look down and see if the grind job on the valve was shot or something. Okay, thanks for watching. They wanted a three minute video, so I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. I'm really happy with it. I would have, it's only $140 and I think tomorrow, Black Friday, it's only 107, so it'd make a great gift. Imagine how much the snap-on truck driver would have charged you for this like 15 years ago before everything was available on Amazon. You probably would have to pay two grand for it. It's pretty incredible now how all this technology is available to us for pretty cheap. Thanks for watching.